Hey guys, so in this video, I want to do a quick little video here checking out the UI differences here between uh, the iPhone 6 on iOS 8.2 or uh, 8.3. Uh, but um, yeah, we're gonna compare it against iOS 7.1.2 here on the iPhone 4 and see if we can see any differences. So uh, let's just go in here, settings, general, about. Okay, I was 8.3 versus 7.1.2 here on the iPhone 4. So now, first of all, the iPhone 4 doesn't have as cool in I was 7.1.2. It doesn't have as cool like transition effects as you can see here. You can see a little bit see through, but not as much. Okay, here you can't see nothing, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's go down here Same kind of UI look here Mostly but you have an all and the mist here. You only have today notifications So they made it a little bit easier to know what the, what you are looking at um, If you go down like this You can also probably see some some differences here, especially if you go into Smileys. Don't we even have any smileys here? Hmm, maybe I need to add them. General keyboard. Emoji. One problem here with the iPhone 4 is usually they have very, very slow home buttons. So you can see here, here you only have three rows of um, emojis. Instead of 8.3, you get one, two, three, four, five rows. And you can also scroll like this. So it's way better here to scroll through these. Takes some serious time here. I mean, this one you can swipe through. Of course, you have the update with the health app here, or something that you didn't get in iOS 7. Um, <laughs> maybe because people was eating better back then, I don't know. <laughs> but then, of course, you have the Apple Watch app here, something that the iPhone 4 also isn't uh, really getting. You can buy yours for $17,000 if you want, the gold edition. So pretty pretty interesting price there <laughs> but um, if you go in here you can also see some Siri updates so let's see wow don't we even have Siri on the iPhone 4 wow this is really an old phone <laughs> Are you serious, bro? Yeah, this one didn't even have Siri. Wow, we are going really, really old school right now. Have they made any changes, big changes in here? No, they look pretty similar actually. It's pretty interesting. They make very, very small changes, Apple. Let's see here if we can fire up the camera. So to start off here, we had a very, very simplistic UI square photo and video mode. And now with the iPhone 6, we're getting a little bit more modes here. You do have like the slow motion mode, you do have time lapse mode, you have a square mode, but that you also had uh, there. But you do have these cool filters here that you probably did steal from Instagram. Panorama mode as well, so you can just swipe, which could also be pretty, pretty nice there. If you fire up 
like the dialer here. You can also see that it hasn't really changed that much. Fire up the, the app store as well. You can see that it has um, the same kind of universal UI, kind of, but definitely slower here, of course, on the older iPhone. And you can also see here the screen looks very, very familiar. Let's see here. Check out the calendar, also looks similar. If we can pop up the web browser, that's the same kind of look as well. So you might think that it's that it is more differences between these, but I was seven still. Uh, seems to be having a lot of those features that you do get inside of inside of iOS 8 even to the calculator calculator I mean the the app how it looks so yeah quickly a comparison here I mean, you can see that most things are pretty pretty similar in terms of uh, many many apps how they look so that could be fun there to know. Yeah, have an awesome day.